Ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you a question. It's really simple. Do try and answer it if you wish. Look, is your good news better than mine? All right, now that's my question. Whoops, my board's going for a bit of a wobble. Now, is your good news the best news that you can give me this afternoon? Do you think you'll beat my news? Is your best news better than mine? Okay. Now, what do people usually regard as good news? Things like this. Promotion. Okay. And if your footage club wins the league, they think, great, I get promoted. Here we go. Some people go for this. A lottery win. And ladies and gentlemen, all I'm asking is, what you're living for, is it better than what I'm living for? Think about it for yourself. Here's a good one. Beating illness. Is your news better than mine? This is what lots of people regard as good news. Okay. Or maybe it's something else. Maybe you find that the person that you've loved for ages has said she'll marry you. So that would be good news, wouldn't it? But ladies and gentlemen, I want to ask you a question. Is your best news, the best news, the best thing that can happen to you today better than mine? Are you ready? Yeah, I'm going to show you a picture. Do you remember this man? He was a giant of a man. Do you know what beat him? A tiny, tiny illness beat him. He was a giant of a man during the long move until last week. Now, is your, your news better than mine? I'll tell you what my news is. Ready? My news is you can have your past forgiven, you can have life eternal, and Jesus Christ can take you to heaven. Did you know that? That's great news, folks. Look, let me show you a statistic. All right? If you make it to 80 years of age, this is how many times your ticker will beat. Ready? Watching carefully. So every minute in your chest, on average, there's 72 beats. Right? Every minute. That means every hour, 60 times 72. That means every day, 24 times 60 times 72. And there's 365 days in a year. And if you make it till you're 80, do you know how many beats that have taken place in your chest? Here it is, you can't get round it. 37, here 37,843,200. Now ladies and gentlemen, if you're 40, you're half of that, aren't you? If you're 40, is there anybody here more, more than 40? Now some of you look more than 40, but you're only 20. But think about it, I'm telling you a fact, that if you make it to 80, that's the number of beats your heart will beat. That's it. But ladies and gentlemen, do you remember him? He was a monster of a man. He didn't go around rugby players, he went through them. He only made it to half of that, didn't he? Have you got any good news for him? You say to Jonah, Jonah, you've been promoted. We're gonna give you no any money. He says, what good is that to me? I'm a dying man. And then you say, Johnny, you've won the National Lottery. John Alomu says, what good is that to me? I'm a dying man. And then he said, now that would be good news, wouldn't it? If John Alomu, bless him, could have beaten his illness, that would have been great news. But do you think it'll last forever? No. One day he'd have stepped into eternity, maybe as an older man. Ladies and gentlemen, what I'm saying to you is this. If you come to Jesus Christ, he can forgive your past no matter what you've done. The one thing that we all regret that we'll never tell anybody else, listen to these words. The blood of Jesus, God's son, will wash you from all sin. If you want to know how you can have a clean conscience, a new life, a hope in heaven, past forgiven, get rid of your guilt, come to the cross where Jesus hung there and his cousin said, look, behold, the Lamb of God, he takes away the sin of the world.